The most important thing you have in life is your body. Paul Bragg started Bragg back in 1912. It's a line of products that encourages people to enjoy the process of getting healthy. He began with a few products and he, in the end, expanded it to 365 products. Paul's mission was to make everybody aware that your health is your wealth, that what you put into your body fueled it. Paul was a dynamo speaker, and every time he gave a lecture, people would flock to do whatever he told them. And he had Hollywood stars, he had all kinds of followers, and Patricia was part of all that learning. And Patricia's responsibility when they were together was to always make everything work. And I think when Paul passed away, she really didn't know how to take on the lead role. It was always about Paul. I think what sparked her confidence was a gradual understanding that people were not just interested in Paul, that they were really following her now. As she started to get more and more recognition, she started to do a lot of radio shows herself and people coming up to her at the expo and expressing how much they love Bragg and wanting pictures with her. I think people are just drawn to follow her because she's so positive about what she wants. They just, they know that she knows what she's doing and they just follow. She is just four foot 11 or four ten, but her attitude and her presence is about six six. She is um, potentially one of the most authentic and remarkable people I've ever met. She is um, a firecracker. She mixes and matches. It doesn't matter if it's stripes, flowered, print, as long as it's wild, vibrant colors. You're with Patricia Bragg, a head of Bragg Life Food Products, and also the lady that gave me my first guitar at 13. Patricia started out being good friends with Katy Perry's mom and dad. I was introduced to Patricia after having read her book, The Miracle of Fasting. I wrote Patricia a letter, and um, she wrote me back. It was amazing. And she gave me her phone number. And we talked for about an hour and we became fast friends. We were in the church and then Katie would sing. Patricia saw this all and I'd tell her about it all the time. And then she heard it too. And so one day she said, I'm going to buy you a guitar. And Katie still has that guitar. You know, it was so selfless what you did because you kind of like, she put up the money for the guitar, but she said, oh, the church paid for it or whatever. It was a collective, but you know you did it. It was awesome. And it was really, it was the point, I think, for me where I was like, oh, someone believes in me. Why did you buy me that first guitar? Because I feel, felt that it would be wonderful for you to be able to play the guitar and add music to the world. I feel very thankful for all the miracles, the blessings that I've had all these years. And I'm sure Paul was similar in that way too, right? He was just amazing. He gave me guidance in life, and he gave it to the world. Let's celebrate. Are you excited? Yes. Woohoo! Thank you. Woo what you eat and drink, walks and talks tomorrow. You are a breathing machine. Oxygen, the miracle of life, oxygen. And you are what you think. And next is what you say. Words are living. Are they good? Are they kind? Are they necessary? And next is what you do. Physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally. What you do with your life.